So you might be wondering, why bother backing up this SAM file? Well, we do this because we want to avoid mistakes. Before changing passwords, it's recommended that you back up the SAM file so that later you can restore the user's accounts. If you save the SAM file after the backup, it's going to be useless to you and may even be harmful. So we always want to back up that SAM file first. To create a registry SAM backup, we begin inside of ActiveAt Boot Disk. Within ActiveAt Boot Disk, we go to Programs, ActiveAt Password Changer. When our new window comes up, click Next, and I will choose Search All Volumes for Microsoft Security Accounts. Then I'll click Next. We now see all the drives that contain a SAM or Security Account Manager file. I will select my C drive and I'll choose Next. Be careful here. Copying the SAM registry from a partition to another drive is only possible if you have access to the partition in the other drive. Otherwise, your pasting will be denied. Now, let's choose where we're going to save the file. So let's click Save Folder to Backup Registry. Go to your desired location. I will choose something on a flash drive. And when you're back to this window, go ahead and click Next. And finally, in this last window, I will leave it as is, and I will click Apply. If copying the SAM file worked, you get a success message. Now, let's take a look at how we place that SAM file back onto our Windows system. In Activate Boot Disk, use the Computer Explorer to find C semicolon backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash config. And in another window, open up the drive that contains the new SAM file. We want to move the SAM file from the right to the System32 config folder. So first, I'll remove the SAM file from the config folder. Then on the right, I will rename the SAM numbered file to just plain SAM. Now, I will drag the SAM file from my temporary storage into the config folder. Then simply reboot your computer. For more information about ActiveAt Password Changer, please go to www.password-changer.com.